Ah, the beautiful sound of a district line train departing from a station. Part of this process includes the brakes. But what's this little meter doing there, so innocently between the carriages? Well, in this video I will explain both of these things, as they are very closely linked to each other. Train brakes are operated by air or gas under pressure, in other words, they are pneumatic. On each carriage is a meter. This is used for inspections, to see if the brakes in a carriage are working properly. Yes, it might surprise you, but each carriage on the train has its own individual brakes. If you look closely at the meter, it will move during certain parts of your journey. When it arrives at a station, the needle creeps forwards because the brakes are being used. That's where that terrible screeching sound on the district line comes from. Race yourselves! The main purpose of these meters is to ensure passenger safety by checking the meters regularly. I cannot think or am not aware of any other purposes, but if you know any, please let me know down in the comments below. Then the needle drops halfway down as it comes to a stop at a station, because the brakes have been slightly released. Once the train is ready to leave, the needle creeps down to zero. Well, I hope you liked that brief explanation of train brakes and meters. If you did, please like the video and do consider subscribing. Next time, if you're bored on the tube, look around for that meter and watch it as it spins around its axis. This is East Ham. This is a district line train to Richmond. The next station is Upton Park.